Hi everyone. Welcome to day two of my 30 days of yoga and movement challenge. So today's class is about de-stressing and it's an anti-anxiety heart opening sequence. A lot of us those days are really anxious, really stressed from all that's happening around us, all that's happening in the world, and also from staying home. And a lot of the physical um, stress and anxiety and depression has a lot to do with being closed. So I found it really helpful to do a lot of heart openers and also hip openers to, re to release a lot of emotional stress and a lot of tension in the body. And that just reflects on your mental and emotional well-being as well. So as always, we're going to start today's class in a cross-legged seat, bringing the hands onto the knees, pressing the sit bones down, putting the belly button in, and feeling a beautiful line in the body reflecting in your heart being open. Then I want you to take a deep breath, inhaling through the nose, and just sigh it out through your mouth. One more like that, it's really soothing. Inhale through the nose. Keeping the eyes closed, I ask you to bring your hands to your heart center. And together, we're going to set an intention today for us to lead with an open heart, to move from a place of love always, a place you can always come back to, a soft place, a soft spot. And with that in mind, everyone set your intention. And then together, slowly release the hands, bring the eyes open, and we're going to start today's class sitting back on our heels. I want you to sit back on your heels, untucking the toes. Then together first, we're just going to ground ourselves, align ourselves onto the mat, and on an inhale, we're all going to cast the arms, putting the heart forward, arching the spine, gazing upwards towards the sky, and as you exhale, we're going to round out, reaching the fingers forward, putting the belly in, and really rounding in the backs of the shoulders. Inhale, open the heart, lift the gaze, pull the elbows back, down, palms back, gazing upwards. Exhale, round it out, vacuuming the belly in, arching and rounding the lower back. Inhale, open, arch, gaze upwards, lengthen like a beautiful wave. Exhale, round, reach, contract, the belly button in as much as you can. Two more, inhale beautifully, try to slow down your movement as you open up. Exhale, round it out, fluid in the spine as you reach forward. Final one, inhale, open, arch, gaze upwards, beautifully. Exhale, round it out, vacuuming everything, putting the belly towards the spine. And we're going to inhale back into a neutral spine, and together we're going to bring the hands onto the mat, finding a tabletop. And here, we're going to keep the spine moving, opening the heart, arching, and rounding. So together, let's all inhale, arch, and open into your cow, and exhale, press round and tuck into your cat. Inhale beautifully, sinking the belly, pulling the heart, reflecting and lifting your gaze up. Exhale, chin to chest, press into the hands, round it out into your cat. Beautiful. Inhale, open, arch, gaze up. Exhale, press, round, contract. One more together. Let's all inhale, arch, open, gaze up. Exhale, press, round, and drop. And we're going to inhale back into tabletop on all fours. And exhale, just stay here. And we're going to do it a little more advanced together, advancing our movement from cat cow. So you're going to inhale like you're moving into your cow. But then as you exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, round, and let the rounding move you back into child's pose. Then from child's pose, you're going to inhale, diving forward, 
reaching the heart forward, bringing the elbows low and open up into either a baby cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, knees down, hug your chin to your chest and round it back into child's pose. Beautiful, inhale, dive forward, keeping the heart low, arching and opening up into up dog. Keep the legs active, exhale, knees down, round the spine and let that rounding lead you to child's pose beautiful two more together inhale open arch shoulders back legs super active exhale knees gently down round your spine child's pose final one let's all inhale diving forward into our upward dog keeping the shoulders pressing the hips forward active in the legs and this time tuck your toes hips lead you back into your downward facing dog. Now then, once you find your dog, if you have alignment on your mat, it helps to adjust your downward dog. You're gonna find your dog and you're just gonna sway the hips from side to side, opening, releasing any kinks in the body, any kinks in the hips, just letting it all go by gentle movement. Whenever you move, I want you to tune in. So try to feel out all your motion. We're not doing it because we have to do it. We're doing it because it feels good. Then gently, let's all find a more static downward facing dog, hiding the heels behind the toes, pressing the hands forward, squeezing the armpits in as you melt your heart towards your thighs. Then we're all gonna inhale, press into the toes, vacuum the belly, look forward, and gently like a beautiful ballerina, you're gonna start crossing your legs to the top of the mat. And with each press in the foot, feel that your arms are straightening more. You're pressing more into your hands. Once you find the top of your mat, inhale, halfway lift, arch the spine, straighten, look forward, exhale, round it out, let it go. And let's all inhale, undo the spine beautifully, unrolling it, opening the palms away into cactus arms. And exhale, fold, swan diving, melting the heart onto the thighs. Inhale, halfway left, everyone pull shoulders back, belly in and bum back. Exhale, place your hands, walk your right foot back, walk your left foot back into plank. Then from plank, I want you to press into the hands, Pull the belly in and then start shifting forward. And we're gonna lower down for the count of five, four, three, two, two, and one. We land. Once you land, I want you to untuck your toes, bring your fingers in front of your shoulders and wider than your shoulders. Then pressing the tops of the feet down, lifting the kneecaps off your mat, pressing your fingers down. You're gonna inhale, round up and open, gazing forward. Then we're gonna exhale, leading with the heart, melting down. Inhale, lift the heart, lift that, lift you up, opening up, straightening the arms, maybe. Exhale, gently leading with the heart, melt it down. One more, we're just opening the back line of the body and the front line as well. Inhale, round, lift up, is forward, exhale, gently drift your heart towards your mat. Inhale, bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift up into plank, and then make your way back into downward facing dog. Once you find your dog, you can bring your feet together, big toes together. Inhale, lift back in the belly, look forward, exhale. Bring your knee to your chest and then step just one big step forward with the right foot, one big step with the left foot. Halfway lift, we lengthen, exhale, we fold. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands together over your head. And I want you to inhale, keep pressing the hips forward, reaching the arms up and away, all the way back, opening your heart in that back bend. And exhale, pull the belly in, find a more straight line into the body bringing the hands towards your heart center. Well done, yogis. Then I want you to keep your hands at your heart, keep your belly tucked in, keep your eyes straight, softening your gaze with your eyes closed. 
And let's all come back to our intention. Remember to lead from the heart, from a place of love. So as you move and you flow, be gentle to your body and yourself. Then gently blink your eyes open. Inhale, sweep your mat, Utkatasana, your pose. Exhale, cactus your arms, pulling the elbows back and away, palms back towards the back of the room. Inhale, think of like you're moving through a door as you bring your chest forward. And exhale, round it out, reach out, fingers forward and away from you. Inhale, arch the spine, sing the hips, open the heart, exhale, round it out, protecting the heart, beautiful. Three more, inhale, open, arch, reach back, exhale, round it out, reaching forward, beautiful. One more, inhale, open, arch, exhale, round it out, inhale, open, arch, then stay here, and, at, and with your practice arms, you're gonna bring your right heel towards your bum, really active with the feet and the toes. Then I want you to inhale, keep pulling the elbows back towards the ceiling as you kick your right heel back and away. Gently, one more breath here. Inhale, exhale, right foot down, right knee down, untuck the right toes, and inhale, rise, reaching the arms up, back, and away. And I want you to stay here, keeping the hands together, opening the fronts of the body, and shifting your hips forward. One more breath here. Inhale, exhale, pull the elbows down, reach them forward, round, tuck your backward foot, and slide back into half Hanuman, the half splits. And we're gonna flow here. So you're gonna inhale, round forward, Press the hips forward, undo the toes, reach up, back, and away. Exhale, elbows down, pull the belly, round back, tuck your toes, half Hanuman. One more, inhale, undo the toes, press the hips forward, reach up, back, and away. Exhale, round it out, tuck your backwards toes, flex your front foot, and melt back into half Hanuman. Inhale, bend the left knee, place your hands onto your mat, exhale, press into the hands, round the spine, left foot all the way back, into bent knee, three-legged, downward facing dog. Then here, I just want you to feel that left hip opening up, your hands melting down, the backs of your right leg, really stretching and opening up and you're just finding space in the body if this is foreign for you it might feel new and odd but the more you do it the more it's going to feel great in the body and let's all inhale lift the right heel up and as you exhale start bringing your left foot behind you towards the right wrist the right hand once it lands keeping the left leg straight you're going to inhale Cactus the left arm, open up, lifting the hips, pulling that left elbow towards you, and exhale, stay. <laughs> and then take two more breaths here. And with each breath, you're trying to bring that left foot closer to the right wrist. You're trying to open more. You're finding your own breath in your wild thing. One more breath here. Inhale, exhale gently, close it off into plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale, shift forward. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Open up, upward, facing dog. Exhale, downward, facing dog. Right away, lifting the right foot up, bending the knee, and stacking the hips. And think of that right heel reaching towards your left butt cheek. You're finding space in the right psoas. That's the front of your right leg. You're melting your heart, you're opening up, and it's all good. <laughs> One more breath here. Inhale, then we're going to do that same thing, dropping into one thing. You're going to lift your left heel. Look at your right toes as they land behind you, keeping the left leg straight this time. Inhale, open up into wild thing, and exhale, stay. Think of your hips reaching to the sky, 
beautiful arch. The more you lift the hips, the more you're going to take away from the from the from the spine, the lower back. One more breath here. Inhale and exhale. Stay. Now let's all inhale. Look at the left hand. Press into the left leg. Lift your right knee up towards you. And as you exhale, you're going to gently land your right foot to the top of the mat. Lowering your left knee down and tucking the toes. Inhale. Reach back and away. Opening up into your Anjaniyasana. And exhale, elbows down, tuck your toes, round, flex your right foot, and melt back. Beautiful. Two more. Inhale, undo the tuck, press the hips forward, reach the arms up. Think of the left hip pulling forward, right hip pulling back. Exhale, elbows down through cactus, fingers on your mat, flex your front foot, shift your hips back, and round and pack on one more inhale press the hips forward undo the tuck reach the arms up back and away feeling blend in the front side of the body exhale round it out fingers down pull your belly shift your hips back and melt back beautiful then from here we're all gonna press the right foot down bring your fingers onto your mat and i want you to really use your right leg strength Lift the left knee up, then press more in order to rise up into your warrior three with cactus arms. Think of the back leg, super active. You can flex or point your toes, it doesn't matter. Heart lifting, belly button putting in, and I'm gazing forward. Maybe I'm gazing at the top of the mat. One more breath here. Inhale, exhale. Both feet meet as you sink low into Anjaniyasana, press and pulse. Inhale, open your heart, pull your elbows back and away, and exhale, stay. And let's all inhale, rise with the breath, iron at the body, hands touching overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart center as you close it up. Take two cleansing breaths here, just releasing any tension that might have built up in your body might have built up in your mind as well. One more breath. Let's all inhale and exhale. <sighs> Let it out. Then we're all going to inhale, sweep our mat, and sink into Utkatasana, air pose. I'm just going to move back with my mat. So I want everyone to actually find the center of their mat. From here, I want you to inhale, reach up towards the sky. Exhale, come onto your tippy toes, lifting your heels off your mat. Inhale, bring the bum onto your heels. Exhale, knees down, lift your hips, hands on your lower back, and we're going to move into camel. Inhale, keep pressing the hips forward, pulling the elbows in and back, gazing upwards, maybe gazing backwards, and exhale, stay. Then inhale, lift your heart, pull your belly, sit back onto your heels, lifting your knees up. Exhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, lift your heels. Inhale, bring your bum onto your heels. Exhale, knees down, lift your hips, hands on your lower back, elbows in. Inhale, press the hips forward, open the heart, finding camel. And exhale, stay. One more breath. Inhale, open. Keep pressing the hips forward. Find beautiful space in the hips and the front line. And exhale, let your breath lead you up. Putting or squeezing the knees together. So that transition is fun because you lift your knees and then you bring your heels and you lift up into, uh, into the, your chair pose. One more together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stay. Inhale, lift your heels off your mat. And exhale, sink your bum onto your heels. Inhale, knees down, hands on the lower back, elbows in. Open the heart. And maybe this time you find your hands to your heels and you stay in camel for three to four, maybe five breaths. 
thinking of the heart opening up. I'm not putting too much pressure on my heels. I'm lifting my heart. I'm using my strength with the legs and the spine and the core to lift me up. One more breath here. Inhale and exhale, stay. And let's all inhale gently, lift up, exhale. Everyone untuck your toes, sit back onto your heels. Bring your hands into your laps, close your eyes, and stay for two or three breaths. Camel can sometimes be overwhelming, especially if you're not used to it. So once you finish your rounds, make sure you come back in. You check in with yourself. If you got busy, a little lightheaded, make sure you find a seat afterwards. Just to come back and recenter yourself on your mind. open. Place your hands onto your mat and make your way back into downward facing dog. Once you've found your down dog, again adjust your stance, adjust your alignment if you need to. You need to take any little movements in your down dog, feel free. And then let's all inhale, reach the right foot up, back, bend the knee, stack the hips, open up. And as you exhale, you're gonna round forward, bringing the right foot on the outside of the right heel. And from here, I want everyone to bring the left heel onto the mat, aligning both heels on the same line, pressing the right hand down. And on an inhale, we're all gonna open up into side angle pose, reaching the left arm up towards the sky. And as you exhale, I want you to cactus your left elbow towards you, opening your heart, finding space in your side ankle. Now, if this is challenging for you, you're gonna stay here, but if you wanna try to bind the arms behind you, you're gonna bring your left arm behind you, reaching towards your right leg, and then you find your right hand from the inside of your right leg, and you grab the left wrist with the right hand, maybe the elbow, you twist, you open and you breathe. Finding beautiful space in the legs and the hips and also in the heart and that left shoulder. We're only here for one more breath. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Let it out. So let's gently undo the arms. Bring your hands back onto your mat. Press into the hands. Inhale. Lift your right leg up back and away, bending the knee. And this time we're gonna exhale, land the right foot behind the left. You have the option to revisit wild thing, or you can bring your right foot facing the back of the room, adjust your left leg as well, and open up into wheel pose. Hip hits in your practice. Inhale, keep pressing the hips up towards the sky, pressing the hands down, lifting up, 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 and exhale, stay. Then our breath is gonna move us out back into plank. So you're gonna switch the left hand, lift the right hand and close it off back into plank pose. Inhale in plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right away, lifting your left foot up stacking your hips, bending your left knee. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. So you're gonna inhale here, deeply creating space. And as you exhale, lift your right heel round forward, bringing the left foot on the outside of the left hand. You need to wiggle your foot in a little to align your heels, go for it. Left hand down, right arm opens up into your side angle. You can see better maybe on this side, my arm is on, the, is on the inside of the left leg. My other leg is super active. Left edge of the right foot is pressing out. You can stay here or you can find that bind one more time on the left side. 
left hand behind you, sorry, right hand behind you, then bring it towards the left leg, grab your wrist, your elbow, with the left hand, and open up into your own variation of the side angle. Stay here for three breaths, just feeling that space in the heart and the hips, but make sure that you're super active with the legs as you stay here. One more breath, inhale, exhale, release the line. Bring your hands back onto your mat, come onto the toes on the right leg. Inhale, lift up into three-legged downward facing dog. Exhale, left foot lands behind you. You can move into any variation, wild thing, lift up or into your wheel. If you find wheel, make sure your arms are straight, you're pressing into the feet, you're opening your hips. We're only here for one more breath. Inhale, exhale, lift your head and make your way back into downward facing dog. Once you find your dog, take a deep breath and just recentering yourself and a deep breath out. And let's all inhale, come up to the toes, pull the belly in, and as we exhale, ballerina feet to the top of the mat one more time. Stretching the backs of the legs, pressing into the hands. Inhale, halfway lift everyone. Exhale, fold, let it go. Then stay folded, mount your hips, and raise your heels, and make your way into the seat. Once you've found your seat, shift your hips back onto your mat and let's all extend the legs forward in front of us and together we're going to inhale, reach the arms up and away towards the sky and as you exhale, think of leading with the heart as you feel to protect your heart and your really full. Staying here for five breaths, pulling your heart towards your thighs protecting your heart in a closed off position, letting go any tension that might arise. Slowing things down one more time. One more breath, that's all, inhale. And exhale, let it out. And then the inhale, start rolling your spine up, as you bring your heels onto your mat, then exhale, wrap your arms like a shoe horse around your legs. Inhale, just like cat cow, arch the spine, look up, open the heart, and exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, round it up, pressing the shoulders away from you. Inhale, beautifully open, hands up, exhale, round, tuck, push it back. Three more, inhale. Feel the motion in the body, using the breath. Exhale, round it up, reach it back. I want to, maybe close your eyes here, just to tune in more. Exhale, round it out, reaching back. Final one, inhale, open, arch, look up. This time, exhale, extend your legs, extend your arms, push the spirit yourself forward. We're going to lower all the way back on the count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You made it. Once you land, we're just going to finish off with a simple twist in the spine. I love to twist after back bending or heart openings because it just it brings the sounds back into the spine and the body. So let's bring both knees towards the right side. Extend your arms or open your arms to the side and let your head melt towards the left side. It's really simple here. Don't try to throw anything. I'm just getting into gravity, surrendering, letting go. Then inhale, head and knees back to center. Exhale, left, left side, both knees towards the left. As your head melts, towards the right side. Feeling space in the lower back, in that right hip on the outside. And just letting go. 
And let's all inhale, head and knees back to center. Exhale, pull your knees in, wrap your arms around your legs, and give yourself a loving hug, rocking from side to side, releasing any little kinks in the body, any residue left. And let's find our center back in the middle. Inhale, squeeze everything in, and as you exhale, Everyone, open everything out. It's your final posture for today. Shavasana. Opening the palms to the sky. Letting the feet melt to the side. Feeling your heart beats. Feeling your heart melting onto your mat. But as you lie down here, feel the heart open towards the ceiling, the sky but also open towards life and humans. The heart is such a precious place. And let's all channel our focus towards the belly breathing and towards the heart. Moving up with an inhalation and melting with exhalation. And you can stay here for as long as you wish, for as long as your body needs, in your Shavasana, letting it be a meditative state, taking maybe five to 10 minutes, just breathing here, and just be. Namaste. Thank you.